everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I took a Skaven model from the Spike Claw Swarm Box and converted them up to a mighty Skaven Hunter. And to get your hands on everything I mentioned in this video at a heavily discounted price, make sure to check on the description links below. So the model I chose from the set was a model called Kirk the Almost Trusted and I chose this because one of the things I definitely wanted to put on the model was a rifle, like a hunter's hunting rifle and I thought the pose that this guy has with the spear could be exactly what I'm looking for. Just replace that spear with a rifle. Now the rifle bit is from the Kruth box, it's, a, it's very similar to anything that could be in the Age of Sigmar world and it fitted perfectly. So as you can see, you know, it looks good. It looks like it could fit along there perfectly. So what I tried to do was first was I cut the bits off uh, of the spear between the arms and then I tried to cut off the bits of the gun to fit into the parts that I just clipped off. But unfortunately that really didn't work and I didn't have a whole lot of time to mess around with this because I only had a handful of spare crew guns left and it just didn't work out at all. I cut off the front part and I cut off the middle part as well. So basically I would have had the top, middle and the end all in separate parts. So what I did then was I switched to another crew gun that had two, well, an arm and two hands on it. So I cut off the right arm just to see if I cut off his right arm would have fit in perfectly. And it did look good. The hand looked a bit big for a scaven, but when I tried to align it, it wasn't fitting with his left hand. So what I did then was I completely, I completely cut off his right arm, drilled a hole to create a socket, and I used a right arm of a scaven with a spear in it. Now the point of this was I could replace the spear with the gun, and with the socket hole, I could fit the arm around to get it to look perfect, the position that I really wanted to go in. So what I did was then the sizes are almost identical from the spear and the gun, which is really good. So all I had to do was to cut parts of the gun off and then glue them on to the hand, just replacing the spear. So as the as I was letting the glue dry on the right arm, I started to work on the left side of it. Now, scaven left arms are really hard to kind of replace. So I worked with the bit that I had first in mind, which was kind of like a big, it's a bit small to be a sword, but it's a big kind of knife. And that was from the Plague Monk's kit. So once the right arm was almost dry, I wanted to give it a little bit of, I didn't want to dry it too much so I could have a bit of leeway. So I started to glue on the bits of the gun with the top part. So the hard part about this was making sure to get the top part and the bottom part perfectly in line, which, was kind of it wasn't too hard to do i thought it was going to be the hardest part to do but it kind of went in line pretty easily so you can see that here i moved the model around and just by looking at it it looks really good it looks like he's holding the gun you can't really see that it's three separate pieces stuck together so i was happy with the right arm and then i went on to the left arm now as i said the left arm is really hard for the scaven to get because the left arm they always hold a shield so i got a right arm and I had to cut the hand off. And once the hand is cut off, the arm looks like it's for any side. It could be left or right. It really doesn't make a difference. So I tried gluing on the kind of, I want to call it a big dagger. So I glued that onto the arm and I did the same thing as I did with the right arm. I cut, I drilled a hole into the socket to make a, to make a hole to fit the arm in perfectly. It gives me a lot of uh, space to move around the arm to get it in the right uh, position that I wanted to be in. Now one of the things I had to do was file down the edges on this because on the shoulders there's a lot of kind of mice, there's a lot of extra parts on it. So you have to kind of file it down a little bit but be extra careful because this model can be very, very fragile, especially on the feet area. So here you can see the two arms are dried in. So I'm kind of happy with them, how they look. He has his rifle in his right arm, a big dagger in his left hand, almost on the verge of being the shield. Now what you might have to do is uh, to reinforce the left arm, just glue it a little bit more to the body. Now one of the little additional bits I wanted to add was, since they're hunters, I wanted to give him uh, kind of like a trophy, I'm trying to get a word, a trophy on his head. Now it wasn't really working, it couldn't fit, it looked too big. So what I did was I cut the horns off from the skull and I glued them on top of the helmet to make them look like they're part of the helmet. Now I'm not going to paint these in the bone colour because I'll get mixed up thinking they're something to do with the grey sears. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the same color, the bronze or the silver color of the helmet to match that as well. And here you can see adding another little additional piece in with kind of the trap part onto his hip. Now this is from either the dwarves or the ogre kits. I can't remember, I've had it for a while, but it's a really nice little addition to getting that extra hunter look. And here you can see the finished model. Now, of course, I left one piece out on the video and that was the lower jaw skull on the rifle. Now that's from the skull box that you can get from Games Workshop. It's the same with the skull pieces I used uh, for the helmet. And all it is is the ogre jaw uh, glued on the bottom of the gun to make it look like another trophy, another hunting aspect that you add into it as well. And of course, the next video that's going to be up in a couple of days is me painting this model. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you'll see that video as soon as it gets posted. But if you guys like this video and want to see more, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.